Brando, I see you've come to take over the show today. Well, not if I have anything to do about it. <laughs> Who show is it now, Brando? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> it is mine, Jonzo. <laughs> You dare show your face around here. I will not let you take over this show today, eh? Oh, God! You were saying? Welcome to the So-and-So Show. What an incredible show we have for you today. Right, Brandon? Yeah, well, incredible is a strong word. Well, yeah, so, yeah and it's, it's the perfect good. word for today's show. I don't think so. Uh, okay, okay, how about strum diddly umptious strum diddly umptious When words don't suffice And only a strum will do Yeah, that's definitely not the word. Okay, what word would you use to describe today's show? Fine. Yeah, fine. Come up with a word. Fine. We're waiting. Fine. No, you don't have to get upset with me. I'll still I'm be not... patient with you. Listen. Fine. Fine? Fine. Yes, I think today's show will be fine. Fine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or... That's it? Satisfactory. Satisfactory? Are you kidding yeah. me? The show is amazing today. Meh. Buddy, what's going on? Nothing. I just, I just don't want to get too excited. That's all. Why not? Because... The, Life can sometimes be hard, and I don't think that we should forget that. Uh, well, yeah, life can be hard, but life can be great, too. Yeah, but if I remind myself that things can always get much, much worse than when they actually do get worse, I won't be surprised. Okay, okay, okay. What if something happens that is really exciting to you? Oh, like this. That. that is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Uh... What just happened? I just... I thought about the fact that some flowers have thorns, and if you walk by them, they can scratch you. I don't understand you. Well, John, it's like this. Dog poo on new shoes and old rotten cabbage. Expired goat's milk and overweight baggage. Using a dull spoon to shave off my scruff. This is just some of my least favorite stuff. Flu germs in smoothies and watered down soda. Hearing the spoilers about Baby Yoda. My leg impaled by a billy goat's gruff. This is just some of my least favorite stuff. You put a lot of thought into this. You have no idea. These things on eyelids and freeze pops in bathrooms. Falling from tall trees, smelling diesel car fumes. Rice Krispies with mayonnaise, not marshmallow fluff. This is just some of my least favorite stuff. When I'm laughing, when my team wins, when I'm feeling rad, I simply remember my least favorite stuff, and then I don't feel so glad. It's Bible story time with Kellen. What's up, fellas? Just trying to cheer this guy up. Why? What's wrong? Well, Kellen, it's like this. No! Not sure what's going on, but can you guys help me out with today's story? Sure, what did you have in mind? This. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Host Feud 
We are joined today by our contestants, Brandon's team and John's team. Brandon, who have you brought with you today? Uh, it, well, it looks like I have a mannequin uh, with my picture on it. Not sure how helpful that's going to be. Speak for yourself, Brandon. Okay, that's weird. Uh, and also, I have a picture of my childhood cat, Catherine the Great. Hey, ow. Hello, Kellen. Fantastic. John, who's on your team? Well, I have an enlarged picture from my eighth grade yearbook. Hey, Kellen. Hey, me. You look great. No, you look great. Aww. And uh, also on my team is a potato. Top of the morning, everyone. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Let's hop to it. Let's play The Host Feud. The top eight answers are on the board. We ask the question, according to the Apostle Paul in Philippians 4.8, what kinds of things should you think about? Brandon? Dull things. Dull things. Dull things, yes. All right, let's see dull things. Ooh, I am so sorry, Brandon. John? Uh, things that are noble. Yeah, 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 you should think of noble oh, good things. answer. All right. Let's see, Noble. Number yes. two, Noble Things, John. Do you want to play or pass? Uh, what do you want to do? Play, play, let's play. We're hey, going to play. Let's play. Kellen. We're going to play, Kellen. Okay, I, I think we're going to play, Kellen. We're going to play. Kellen. We're going to play. They're going to play. John's yearbook photo. According to Paul, what kind of things should you think about? Um... I'm going to have to say excellent things. Good answer. Good, good answer. answer. Good answer. All right. Let's see excellent things. Yes. Number seven. Well done. Potato, what do you think about? Well, as a potato, people always want to add things to me or cut me into little pieces. Tater tots, french fries, hash browns. But I prefer just being a pure potato. So I'm going to say pure things. Good answer. That's a good answer. Oh, good answer. Good answer. All right. Let's see pure things. <gasps> Number four. Nice job, potato. Back to you, John. Let's go with uh, lovely things. Good answer. Good answer. Show me lovely. <laughs> you Yay! got it. John's yearbook photo. According to Paul, what kind of things should you think about? I don't know. How about uh, things or people you respect? Good answer. Good yeah. answer. Good answer. Good answer. Eighth line. grade John wants you to show him some respect. Number oh, yes. six. John's team, you are on a roll. Potato, according to Paul, what kinds of things should you think about? Oh, I know what I think about a lot. Ketchup. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Um, show me ketchup. Uh, Ooh, what? that was your first strike. Two more, and Brandon's team has a chance to steal. What are you thinking about, John? What will Paul say? Um, um, I'm thinking about praiseworthy things. Praiseworthy things. Yes. Good answer. Show me Good praiseworthy. Answer. Number eight. Worthy of praise. John's yearbook photo? Uh, what was the question again? According to Paul, what kinds of things should you think about? Right, right, right. Oh, well, show me what is right. So, I was just... Oh, you got it! Number three. Gnarly! <laughs> One answer left. Potato? Carved beef hash. That's a good answer. <laughs> oh, what? No, that's just wrong. Show me corned beef hash. Shocking. It comes down to this, John. One answer left. You get it right, and you win. You miss it, and Brandon's team gets a chance to steal. The number one answer is still on the board. According to the Apostle Paul in Philippians 4.8, what kinds of things should you think about? Uh... I don't know. Uh, uh, we need an answer. Um, Ooh, so sorry, John's team. 
All right, Brandon's team, do you have an answer? A balls of yarn, goldfish, myself, uh, balls things of that yarn. are scary. Did I say that? Scary Catnip. things. Uh, really scary things. Scary things. So scary. Man, I wish this was a true or false quiz. That's it. True or false. Uh, true. Uh, you think of things that are true. That's it. Brandon's team wins. All right. Yeah, we win. Wow. Thank you to both our contestants. This was the host team. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Great job. Great job, Brandon. Oh, Brandon. Good. Good on you. That was fun, Kellen. Yeah, definitely. No doubt. Thanks for helping, guys. So to review, the Apostle Paul wrote this in Philippians 4, 8. Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about those kinds of things. Oh, I think I get it. I've been choosing to think about things that are negative, things that aren't lovely or pure or true. I, I should be focusing on what Paul wrote about instead. Definitely. It may not feel like it sometimes, but you are in charge of what you think. Maybe you can't control every single thought that enters your brain, but you can definitely decide what you focus on. And if we focus on these things, it can help us live and think a little more like Jesus. Thanks, Kellen. You got it. I'll see you guys later. See you. Yeah, bye, Kellen. What are you doing? I'm trying to, trying to control what I think about. It is not easy. Oh, well, don't think about me dressed like a Ninja Turtle going down a water slide. <laughs> oh, man, now that's all I can think about. <laughs> uh, reveal the question. Oh, what do you tend to focus on? Be honest. Sometimes I focus on what can go wrong, but after today, I'm going to work on that. Oh, great. And I'm gonna focus on excellent and true things like pizza with extra cheese and God's love. Now I'm thinking about pizza. Lunch? Let's do it. Awesome. See y'all later. Hey, I'm gonna, hey. What? You know what? I'll provide some lunch music. Oh, man. Yeah. Strum diddly um shus. On God! <laughs> okay, if I have to, okay. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, good yep. parry, good parry. Ah, no, I see, where's your move? Look at that. Aha, uh -huh, you can't. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're... Dizzy. Dizzy. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Oh, exhausting. But I won't give up. Hey, what's that? Huh? Oh, oh, the old what's that? I should have seen it coming. Oh. oh. Yeah, now it makes sense. Hey everyone, this whole month we've been looking at what it means to drop the act, to sort of like be yourself, don't put on a show, put on an act. You can be truthful in whatever you do and live with integrity, right? We have to make that choice to be truthful in whatever you say and do. All right, I want you to look down or close your eyes. Just don't look at the screen, okay? I promise you, I'm gonna show you something cool. And when I say go, you look up and just focus somewhere on this picture, okay? So everyone look down, I'm gonna show you the picture. Okay, look up. All right, what did you look at? Did you look over at like this blue blur? Or did you look right into this cool lens and see how this mountain is like right in focus? Okay, let's try it again. So look down, don't look. I'll show you another picture. All right, look up. Where did your eyes focus to? Like was it these little yellow dots or you can see this really cool like blast of fireworks. This is really cool. So when it comes to like cameras and um, glasses, right? It's about focus. You want to be able to focus on the subject and see it really clearly. So we're talking about focus today with our thoughts, right? We don't want to just have our thoughts getting away from us and going everywhere into all kinds of negative and bad places, right? So what do you tend to think about? That was our question from the so-and-so show today. What do you tend to focus on when you're just daydreaming or when you're thinking your thoughts? Where do they usually go? 
right? It's, it's good to look at that. Do you ever find yourself thinking about, um, you know, what, all the bad things that are going on and what's gonna happen and wondering, you know, oh, this is probably gonna lead to this other bad thing. Or maybe you think about what's bad about yourself, things that you wanna change or that you wish were different. Maybe you think about other people and you think about all their bad intentions and that they were probably trying to hurt you and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's actually really normal to, to worry and to wanna to change things or to wanna to know what happens next, right? That's a normal thing for us. And we all find ourselves thinking that way sometimes, but there's a better way, right? When, why do we focus on the negative instead of the positive? Why do you think that is? Well, I'll tell you one thing, the devil, God's enemy, wants us to think bad thoughts. He wants us to keep us from thinking good things about God, from knowing how good God is, from knowing that he's in control, from knowing that he created you the way he wants you and how much he loves you. So it, he kind of makes it easier for our mind to go to those those bad things or those, those negative ways of thinking. So that's one reason. Maybe it just takes less effort because if, if something bad's happening right in front of us, it takes more effort to kind of switch our focus and see it in a different way for maybe something that good can come out of it or that God is using to teach us or something like that. And for some people, it's easier than others, right? You've got those people that you maybe heard, like the glass half full people. They always see the glass. I should have brought you a glass, but you can fill a glass. Some people might say, oh, that glass is half full. Let, let's say it's like, Coke or ginger ale or orange crash or whatever you like, because you, you want to drink that, you want it to be full. Some people might look at that and say, oh, it's half empty, it's already half drunk. So people look at things different ways according to their personality. So for some people, it's really easy to think positively and to be happy, and for other people, it's easier to kind of go to those negative scenarios and think that the worst is gonna happen. So for all of us, no matter what which category you're in, we have to put in more effort to turn things around. So. Whatever it is, if we find our thoughts the opposite of what God wants us to think, then we need to change that. So let's look at that verse that uh, we heard in the show that is from the book of Philippians. So this Paul's writing to this church and he wants us to focus on all these things. So I put them into a list for you. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent, or praiseworthy, think about those things. Think about the things that are like that. So if our thing, our thoughts are the opposite of that, then that's what we want to change. So let's take an example. If you're, if you're going to school this fall and you have to wear your mask, you could say, oh, I hate wearing my mask. It always smells funny. It's really hot and itchy. And like, I don't feel comfortable. You could think about all the bad things, right? Or you could focus on the fact that you're following the rules, that you're helping keep everyone safe, that you are, you know, it's something that won't last forever. So we can shift our focus about that. You could, you could choose to be miserable or you could choose to look at it with a positive kind of spin on it. If there's something that you don't like about yourself, maybe you want to change like your hair or something like that, you can remind yourself that God made you in his image. He created you the way he wants you and, he, and you reflect him to those around you. So you can, you gotta remind yourself, he loves you no matter what. You can shift your focus on that. Um, like I could easily be sad that we don't get to have junior drive. We don't get to hang out together and sit on the couch and play games that like, you know, that we have to interact. Or I could focus on the fact that we get to uh, kind of connect through our videos and talking about things at home with you and your parents and hopefully you're connecting. And I know that God is good and he's gonna do good things so I could dwell on what's happening now or I could look forward to what is coming ahead. So in your parent guide today, there's a bunch more examples that you can think through and talk through uh, that it's easy to think of something in a negative way, but you have to come up with how to, how to change that, how to look at it in a more positive way, think more positively in, in each of those situations. So try that out, because it's a really good exercise. We kind of have to remind ourselves each time we get down about something. All right, let's start, take a step back. Let's revisit this. Let's focus in a different angle, maybe, and see what God is trying to teach us. So uh, this, is, this was an awesome verse we looked at today, but we've also been learning a memory verse this whole month. And let's just take a look. It says, anyone who lives without blame 
walk safely, and anyone who takes a crooked path will get caught. So that's something you wanna keep in mind. If you memorize God's word, it sticks with you through every situation. So that means next time maybe you're tempted to take a crooked path that's dishonest or that's not revealing your true self or something like that, you can remember. Anyone who lives without blame walks safely. So we wanna stay close to God, we wanna to get to know him, we wanna be able to talk to him, and we wanna focus on what's true instead of all the negative things that we could focus on. So that's our whole month. That was our month on integrity. We wanna be able to choose to be truthful in whatever you say and do. So thanks for sticking with us. Next month, we've got a brand new theme, but we wanna keep on living with integrity. So keep on going, guys. Let me pray for you before we go. God, thank you so much for teaching us to uh, live with integrity, to be honest and truthful in whatever we do. I pray that you'd uh, let every kid know how much you love them, that you've created them just the way they are, and that it's always best, it's in our best interest to stay close to you and to be truthful with you and with other people. And uh, as our verse reminded us today, God, I pray that we would choose to focus on those good and true and right and excellent things that are always around us. You're always working and trying to teach us and help us grow. So I pray that you would help us to shift our thoughts from negative ones to positive ones. So I pray for a great week for everyone listening and that you would uh, bless them and keep them on your safe path. In Jesus name, amen. All right, so we'll see you soon. Once in a while You cover up an itty bitty lie With a big fat smile But an itty bitty lie Still lying that's not your style But stick to the middle of the path From mile to mile Maybe you want it real bad So you'd say you can Maybe you make the promise But then you break it Maybe you didn't learn the words so you fake it And you feel a little low But if instead you move it straight ahead Keeping your promises You'll be living straight up If you move too far to the side then you're gonna get stuck might feel like a little lie, but it's gonna catch up Do what you say you're gonna do, you'll be on your way up Said you're on your way up You'll be living straight up Maybe you've got a crew And you said we're gonna do the good things that good friends do and everybody's still a good friend who sticks like glue Cause everybody did what they said and everybody was true Maybe you wanted it but you didn't take it Maybe you promised and then you didn't break it Maybe you learned the words so you didn't fake it And now it Then you're gonna get stuck It might feel like a little lie But it's gonna catch up Do what you say you're gonna do You'll be on your way up Said you're on your way up You'll be living straight up If you move too far to the side Then you're gonna get stuck It might feel like a little lie But it's gonna catch up 
do what you say you're gonna do You'll be on your way up Said you're on your way up You can choose To be true Not just to everybody else But true to you You can choose To be true Not just to everybody else But true to you